first of all, I'm, I'm Alan Tackett, I'm a professor of biochemistry at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. Uh, and then I'm the, uh, the administrative director of the IDEA National Resource for Quantitative Proteomics. So again, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is gonna be a, a, a workshop focusing on uh, bioinformatic approaches for working with uh, proteomics data. So a li little different twist. Uh, you know, there's always a lot of workshops focusing on genomics, but you know, this one's really gonna uh, focus on proteomics entirely and hopefully some of the people that are on the novice level will learn a lot, and, and some of you that are on the more sophisticated level will, will learn a little bit more uh, after today. <clears throat> so I just want to start out with telling you a little bit about the uh, IDEA National Resource for Quantitative Proteomics. I've only got two slides, uh, so I won't bore you for too long. Uh, but this, uh, this national resource uh, was funded uh, approximately one year ago. Um, and kind of the mission is shown here. What, what we do is really provide a service to the entire IDEA network. Uh, most people on, on this are, know what the IDEA network is, but for maybe some of you that don't, this is the 23 states, including Puerto Rico, that receive lower levels of NIH money. And so there's a you know, specific program through NIH that uh, helps support these states. And you know, and, and we are certainly one of those states in Arkansas, and we provide a, a proteomics resource across the IDEA network. Uh, you go ahead and click the next one, Seth. And so we have kind of, you know, our, our overall goal is with, with what we put together uh, in the past year is building a proteomics resource that's going to provide really unmatched, you know, uh, cost access to proteomics you know, state-of-the-art proteomics uh, that, that's really inexpensive to access. And we have three kind of aims of our center. Uh, and the first one is providing access to the state-of-the-art technology. Let me click the next, please. Uh, the second one is providing outreach opportunities. Um, and you can learn about all of these on our, on our website. We, we offer voucher programs for people to access proteomics uh, for free, fully subsidized access. Uh, we run internship programs, and, and Dennis might touch on, on these a little bit later, where we bring people on site and uh, show them what it's like to work in a, a national resource operation. And then kind of the third thing we do, which is uh, what, what we're going to be doing today, is we provide educational opportunities. We have a, a variety of workshops. This one is, of course, bioinformatics focused, but we also have workshops where we bring faculty and student on site, teach them how to design proteomics experiments, how to look at the data, and how to how to utilize that data for publications and grants. Uh, we run symposia where we bring in uh, proteomics core directors from across the nation here and educate them on best business practices that they can take back to their home institutions. And of course, we have a variety of web resources uh, that, that you could check out online. Get the next slide, please. And, and this is really, this is how we operate. And um, we, we have, when people wanna do proteomics, uh, we, we have a, a pre-consult with them, help them with uh, their experimental design. Um, there's kind of two routes or what we call service lines where we have discovery proteomics and targeted proteomics. And you'll, you'll learn about that uh, shortly. Uh, and, and everything feeds down into a, a bioinformatics analysis that's, you know, specially designed for proteomics data, which, again, is going to be the focus of the next couple of days. And then we have a, a, a consultation afterwards. And one of the real, I guess, goals for today and tomorrow is for many of you all that are uh, bioinformaticians and idea states, uh, we want to develop, you know, uh, interactions with you uh, throughout the next couple of days where, you know, we can direct people that use our resources towards you so that you can form, you know, interactions and collaborations within your state and, and help work with these people to help analyze their data towards publication. So that, that is one of the major goals. And, you know, another major goal is to really provide just broad education across how do you, you know, use bioinformatics to analyze proteomics data. So that's all I have as an introduction. <clears throat> you know, I just want to say I, I welcome everyone. I'm, I'm glad you could attend. And I think I will hand it over to either Stephanie or Dennis to kind of launch into the activities. So I hope everyone enjoys uh, what we put together. Okay, thank you, Alan. And uh, uh, for all of you guys uh, participating today, I'm Dennis Province, and um, I'm here at the National Resource. And my goal before we 
um, get into the basics of mass spectrometry is to do the housekeeping items. So uh, if you've been involved in other Zoom things like the rest of us for the last uh, a little bit, uh, you are familiar with the chat feature. And uh, what I'd like for you to be able to do is to uh, not use the chat feature to put your questions in, but instead to be able, the only thing I would like for you to do in the chat feature is to go over and look at the chat feature. There should be a link there uh, which is an invitation to join this Slack channel. So Slack is an application that we can all join. And uh, two reasons why we're doing that. One is that by joining the Slack channel, we can, and, and putting our comments, uh, questions and stuff there, uh, we can keep a record of it, uh, that it's all bioinformatics, uh, proteomics specific. And, uh, and then Stephanie's gonna explain what she wants to be able to do with this group and uh, some of the ideas that she has. So uh, if you would go into the chat there, I've placed the, uh, um, the link to be able to join that Slack. And that might be something that's gonna take you a minute to be able to do that. And so if you uh, don't have the bandwidth uh, right this second to do that, um, you will have an opportunity at our first break here um, to be able to finish that up. But I, uh, if, if, if you want to ask a question, we would, um, we would like for you to be able to, to ask it in the Slack channel. Um, also, if, you are, um, if you're not able to, because you don't, uh, like as of right now, we only have eight people joined into the Slack channel, uh, you can go ahead and put that, um, your question in the, in the chat and the Zoom chat. And what I'm gonna do is part of my job is I'm gonna then copy that over into, this, into the channel. Um, and, uh, and so I'll, I'll be doing that. But, but, but sometime in the, in, the, in the near future, we need to get you uh, uh, up on here. So uh, one of your goal, what we'd like for you to do, and I'm going to, um, um, okay. I'm going to I'm going to have you stop sharing for a second or tell do this uh, Stephanie if you want to go ahead and just introduce yourself in the Slack channel uh, there while while you're in it. Um, yeah, so that's I'm that's what we look. Point out a couple of things in the Slack channel before I do that. So there's okay. actually a couple of channels in Slack. Um, there's the bioinformatic workshop. That's the one that I'd like people to start introducing themselves. And that's where I want to put most of the questions for this particular workshop. And then I have a presentation channel. This is where I'm going to drop notes, PowerPoints, any information that we have, I'll put it in the presentations, if that makes sense. So, and... This, what I really would like to see happen is this will allow us to communicate back and forth. So when Zoom closes out, we can continue that discussion beyond the workshop. So, yep, I see Dennis in there. So this will be kind of going on and the idea too, the Slack should be available even beyond this workshop so that we can continue when you have proteomics data and you have extra questions, um, this should be a network resource that we can bounce ideas off for each other. Okay. Just to make sure, so you want the questions in that bioinformatics workshop channel? Correct. Okay. Okay, yeah. so questions here, gotcha. Yeah, and if you um, have issues joining, we can send you a direct link to invite you to that slide. Can you join Slack? Nope. Right. I don't need a problem with that. Yeah. So Dennis hopefully can help everybody kind of get joined into it. Um, so I think oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting uh -huh. to see. I'm starting to see the stuff coming in in the uh, um, the link or in the in the chat here. So I will um, I will send you those. I've got your emails and stuff. I'll start sending those uh, invites specifically. Maybe that's part of the problem. You have to once you once you click on that link, it should. Uh, allow you to put in your email address, which it will then send you a code, which you have to then put back in to be able to do that. But um, um, we'll, we'll take care of these as we go along here, okay? So yeah, if you try that link that I have in the chat and that's not working, just drop a message in there and I will um, I will send those uh, to you guys here. So Can just... you repost the link, please? Oh, absolutely. 
Thank you. Because some of us came on later and then I don't see what was in the okay. chat prior. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Gotcha. Yeah, if that doesn't work, then we'll just send it to you directly by email. Right. So, uh, you can add the team in the Slack channel, Dennis, and then copy their email directly into the Slack. So, okay. Um, are we ready to get started? Maybe? Let's see here. Let me get rid of this one. And then, um, what I'm going to try to do is I 